All right, in today's video, we're going to show you our brand new sports bra. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're seeing now is Sean's wearing the gear suit. And give him a little twirl, Sean. So you can see all the markers all over the suit. And we are going to show you, we show you a lot of uh, pros versus AMs videos. We're going to show you live numbers today. So Sean's going to make some movements and show you how the pros are getting open at impact. And that's a big deal for a lot of golfers is where is the body position at impact. We're going to show you how they do it, and then we're going to show you ways you can incorporate these movements. I think some of these are going to be quite surprising to you, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Sean, a lot of golfers have difficulty, or think they have difficulty, getting open at impact, right? Uh, tour players are known for being quite open at impact. Mm -hmm. I think the amounts they're open and what it takes to do that, I think is gonna be surprising to a lot of guys watching this video. Absolutely, so with the gear suit on, in a minute here, I know this leg looks kind of funny, but it'll snap together in a yeah. second, like that. Um, I had the suit on to show you guys when I get into some of these positions, exactly what the numbers are that are being created. So I think what you'll find is, as I work my way through these positions and you can see the numbers live, you can start to figure out in your head how to incorporate some of that into your own game. Right, we're gonna take a look at, so like with everything, right? There's tour players that are on the low end range of rotation, there's tour players that are very open. And we're gonna show you examples of both of those and, and kind of put Sean, pretzel Sean into those positions and kind of show you what's achievable for you, your swing, and kind of the keys that you wanna look for to see if you should be doing X or should be trying Y. Exactly, and we're gonna be doing static positions. Obviously, it's a little different than swinging a golf club, right. but sometimes just understanding where you need to put the body at impact and, and learning that helps you along the way to try to achieve the things that need to happen before. Sean, let's talk about high rotation players, right? Mm -hmm. Roy McIlroy, player of the year, very flexible, very athletic. He's one of those guys. So at impact, his hips are 45 open, mm -hmm. chest is 25, shoulders are five and I think that's going to be surprising for a lot of golfers yeah and shoulder means if you look up on and we're going to show some of these gears numbers on the screen right. this SH number you see that number can vary quite a bit from the rib cage and, and we're going to show you that in a minute right I think a lot of golfers well I know a lot of golfers because we see it in lessons all the time are under the impression that the chest and shoulders move as one unit kind of like a block of wood now some of us do that because mm -hmm. we don't have physically any more options but these do not move together. In fact, let's have you square up your chest here. Okay. Arms yep. out yep. and retract and protract the shoulders and keeping the chest square. So, so that's chest. 25 degrees of shoulder movement without moving the Without moving the chest. And then we'll go the other way. It's a little harder for you to go that yeah. way. Yeah, let me square my chest off again. There you go, so you're about almost 20 degrees. There we go, right I'll there. just have to stretch that okay. right arm out more to feel right. that. But you know, moral of the story there, where your chest or your rib cage is positioned, your shoulders can be positioned differently, and they actually have to be in order to reach the ball. That's exactly right. So we see a lot of golfers who want to get open, try their best to get open, are trying to do, do so by getting their shoulders to match their chest, yeah. which no professional golfer does. Exactly right, exactly right. And, and, and you're gonna see in a minute, some of the, some of the squared off look from video, when you're looking at right. the video cameras from some of this side bend that takes place, but also some of it is just, I could the be, protraction, yeah, I could be shoulders. open with the rib cage. Let's just say I take the side bend out of the right. equation. I'm open with the rib cage, but I can crank my shoulders right now to look closed, even though my rib cage is open. Exactly right, and that's what we see. Right? Exactly. So that's the high end. Rory being an example of a high rotational player. Now we look on the low end of the scale. We see the hips around 25 degrees open, mm -hmm. the chest around 15 to 20 degrees open, and the shoulders square to either one or two degrees open or one or two degrees closed. Exactly right. And that's a far cry from what we see a lot of golfers every day trying to do with their unit this upper body unit moving together. Yeah, like a block of wood, like you said. And, and there's not very many golfers out there watching this video, provided you're somewhat healthy, you don't have to be tour level shape, provided you're somewhat healthy that you can't open 20 degrees. Or somewhere in that range. Yes. Like we look for windows. You know, everyone's gonna swing the same, but we'd like to see you in a window, as long right. as you're healthy, right? Right. And everybody, you know, can and achieve this, that. We're talking about senior golfers yeah. can be in this range, absolutely. Yeah. All right, Sean, let's go into getting into the positions that Rory gets into. Okay, I'll give it a all shot. Right, why are you laughing? <laughs> it might be. I've been laughing at this thought all day. All right. 
All right, so let's get you in setup first of all. Okay. And we're going to show you something really unique that I don't think many people are aware of. Yeah. Teachers included, us included. Yeah. Right? We're going to show you something really cool. All right, so get into your setup. Mm -hmm. And this is your setup. This is just normal setup. Yeah. All right, so you just by having your right shoulder lower than your left, mm -hmm. just because your right hand is lower than your left mm -hmm. hand on the club, that tilts your rib cage 10 degrees to the right. Mm hmm and that opens the rib cage pretty much the same amount. Yeah, so you're already preset with about 10 degrees of rib cage rotation. With your shoulders square. With my shoulder line is square. Okay, so Rory is 25 open with his chest at impact. You're setting up 10 degrees open, and he sets up 10 degrees open, so he's just gotta find 15, 15 more degrees. somewhere, which isn't a ton. Right, we see a lot of golfers that struggle to get 10 degrees open, and they should be setting up with 10 degrees just from this tilt slash open setup. Yeah, just from the fact that the right hand is lower, you can see yep. when I do that, although my shoulder line doesn't have to change right. the line of the shoulders, when I do this, the rib, the rotation of the rib cage happens because I'm bent forward this way. It points, my rib cage kind of points over here. That's exactly right. So again, shoulder square, rib cage 10 degrees open, rib cage 10 degrees tilted. Now it's not tilting the whole spine. No, nope, it's just Spine's pretty rib, neutral or it keeps his cage. spine dead neutral. Yeah. So it's just the rib cage. Yeah. All right. Let's go into impact now. Okay, so, so let's walk through this. Okay, so we're gonna go hips 45. Okay, let's get the sway to show yep, that's, that. that's right, let's get our sway over there. So you can five see the sway number on the screen. He's what, four and a half, five? Five inches right there. Okay. Hips 45. How's All that? right, you're 48. Okay. Okay, good, a little more. And your, your chest is 33, so you need actually less open chest. What's that right look there. like? You're 32 with the hips, 33 with the hips. So, so I have a hard time getting that stretch across my So middle. you have a hard time really separating mm -hmm. the hips and the chest. Mm -hmm. Like I can get one, and this is what a lot of you are going to go through. Absolutely. This is why maybe see uh, if you need a PT to look at you to maybe do some stretches, but all that stuff will help. But just stock without me hitting balls today, I can't physically probably get into that same position as him. You actually don't have an issue opening the chest. You have an issue, se an issue yeah, separating, separating the chest and things. So that's 40, 47. 47. Where's my rib cage now? Right 28. There. You're very close to him right there. There we go. I can start to feel it now. Yep. There it is. Okay. That's Rory at impact. Yeah. Now, from our down the line camera view, you can see that's not a ton open. No. And I think, you know, stretching a little bit and warming up, I think a lot of people could probably get close to that. Right. Right? Right. Now, the caveat with all of this stuff in the video is, the golf club has got to be in good positions or you're never going to get in any of these. Absolutely. This, this is a great video just to kind of understand what it looks like and the, the way to get that, I'll go through it again. The hips, a little bit of, like if I put a club here next mm -hmm. to my hip, a little bit of slide into the hip, yep. open, and just set the club down behind the ball and it's going to get you somewhere in the ballpark. That's right. Right? Yep. So that gives you a way to kind of feel right. it. On a scale of one to ten, mm -hmm. how difficult was it getting in his positions? It, it was a little bit tough for me just because I'm, I'm tight kind of between separation. my we separation. We both have lower back issues. But it, I don't think it's unachievable. So on a scale of one to 10. Uh, how hard was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe three, four. For okay, me. okay. Now let's go look at a player on the lower end of the scale. So let's go hips at 25. This one should be a lot easier, huh? That's too much. Wow. Yeah, right there, right in the ballpark. Mm -hmm. Now, your hips are moving around because this sensor is being covered up a little bit. Okay. All right, so hips 25, uh -huh. right there. Torso 20, tilt 20. There's that. There you go. How, how difficult was that? Like a zero. It Very just easy to get in that position. Yeah, and it's a stock position, too. That'd be a lot easier if I was in motion because you, right. you have the momentum from the, the rotation from the back That's swing. Exactly right. So if we're working on your swing mm -hmm. and – giving you these kind of static positions to get in. I'm thinking as a, as a coach that, okay, we're probably gonna stay away from that high end because you had a problem separating, which yeah. many of you watching this are gonna have a problem separating, but we can be all over that low end very, very easily. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm just thinking as I'm going through this, you know, there's been a lot of like golf fitness tests out there over the years, mm -hmm. but none of them actually really mimicked any position. Right. This would be a pretty good way to start to figure out Hey, what is his high range? Can he even That's touch? Right. You know, if I get in here like 
who uh, who would be the most open tour player, whatever, right? Right. Let's say they had 60. I mean, I couldn't physically touch the club to the ground, so I know I'm, that's out of my range. That's right. And, you know. So there's no point in trying to say I need to get more open and more open because you're going to start sacrificing club movements. The club's going to start going farther out and farther out. That we see slicers point. every day, all day, some of the most open golfers we see. So let's talk about that for a second. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to make a little mini swing here without hitting you. A slicer will go back to the top, right? Yep. Spin around his back foot, shoot the hands out, right? Yep. And back the hips up. You can see that sway number. What is that? Negative? Negative six almost. Negative, negative six. Five and a half. But how open can I get there? Your 50 shoulders, 70 hips. Yeah. Right. That's an extreme example. Yeah, but it just shows that. you if you're trying to get open and you're sacrificing the lateral motion to do it, that's not helping you at you all. You see golfers all the time who, all right, what have you been working on? What are you trying to do in your golf swing? You know, when we're first working with them and doing gears on them. Well, I know I'm not open enough. I'm trying to, my, you know, my old teacher was trying to get me to get more open or I see guys on TV more open and you pose them in these positions like, Oh, I can do that low end range really easy, but that high end range I ain't doing. But yet they're trying to do that in their golf swing. Yeah, and, and they might be able to do it, but they have to stay back on their back right. foot and do a spin out. It's like they're sacrificing so much to do it. To get some sort of look that doesn't really exist. Exactly right. So keep that in mind. We're going to show you ways to kind of home check these and then give you a little drill here to kind of feel it. Because that's the important part. So you can feel what these ranges are you can start to work from impact backwards and get into these ranges in your real goals. All right, so what we're gonna do now is kind of give you a home check to do this. You're gonna need three alignment sticks, stretch pole, anything, three straight edges and the club, okay? So we're gonna take our first alignment stick, go ahead and set up, Sean. And we're gonna lay this down kind of right in front of your toes, right okay. there. All right, then we're gonna lay our second stick at a 45 degree angle away from the target. Okay, so that's pretty close right there. Now you're gonna take the pole and put this along your hips. Okay. So all you're gonna do right now is match this pole to this stick right here on the ground. Yeah, so I'm gonna add in my little bit of lateral first. That, that's a great point. We gotta have the lateral first. See the screen. So you started at zero there? Yep. Okay. Okay, zero, so I'm gonna add in my lateral. Yep, gotta add the lateral first. Give you about four Four or five, five inches. Now yeah. I'm gonna go into my rotation. And you're trying to turn, rotate everything. Mm -hmm. All right, keep going, that's 30. Is that wow. getting difficult? Yeah. Okay, so Sean's not able to get to 45. There's 40, there's oh. 40. Okay, ah. so that's fine, let's reset. So that's what we're trying to find out here. So this set at 45, which is a very high level of rotation, mm -hmm. not really doable. Uh -uh. Okay, so let's drop this down a few degrees. Yeah, let's little, try to get it around 30 degrees. It's a little hard for me to do. Okay, let's see if we can match this up. So we're gonna get our lateral in there first. Mm -hmm. So we get my lateral. Okay. Rotate to match it Turn up. Turn into it. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, good. That's 30. Now, pounds. let's take the club mm -hmm. and put it down to the ball and see how comfortable that is. Real good. I can do that. All right, your chest, your shoulders are way too them. There okay. we go. I can do that. All right, so that's 35, 25. That puts you kind of right in the middle range of PGA Tour average. Yeah, I could hit a ball like that. All right, so that's kind of the range we're going to shoot mm -hmm. for, those feels. All right, so we got that information, right? We kind of know where you are. Now, th this may be difficult for you to do, so you just keep creeping yeah. it down. and this is static. Now, in motion, I'm, my number's going to be a little higher than what's, what's Some players here. are a little lower. Yeah, I just... It's, again, because it goes to how you move the club. Yeah, I can just feel like in motion, I can get a little more momentum. But Mike's right, you might be lower if you so, have the club out of position. That's right, which a lot of golfers do. So again, we're just trying to get narrowed in on the ballpark here. Yeah. You want to find what's comfortable that you can do, right? Don't get caught up that you have to be the 45 guy if all you can do is 20 because your swing's going to suffer for it. Oh, exactly right. All right, so let's move our sticks. Now I want you to produce that same feel. Going for 30, 20, squarish basically. That's pretty good. 30, 25. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. All right, let's do it again. Let's do that a couple times. To see how quickly you can go and find those numbers. So we're gonna do lateral first, good. 30, 25, good. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm starting to get the feel for it now. Yep. I'm just kind of working through it here. Yep. A lot of you, it's gonna feel really 
So the chest is a little more open than it needs to be. There we go. There it is. Yeah, it's kind of my okay. range. So I feel it in my You're head. starting to find it quicker just doing this. Yeah. And now, once you get to really feel that, like you're pretty confident getting that, now we're going to add some motion to the club. Okay. All right, so let's go to setup. Okay. All right, find that impact. Okay. Now, our camera's in the way, so we're not actually going to hit this. So I'll move the ball. Mm -hmm. But I want you just to chip, make a little chip swing out there, trying to feel that impact. Is that yep. kind of like that, right? Yep, it's pretty good. Now we go. There you go. I'll just let the club just kind of flip up here. Yep. In a mini so again, finish. we start small, feel a little out of sequence, go back to that starting point. You may have to put the sticks back down, but really start to kind of train. Once the brain kind of understands, okay, this is where the body's going to be an impact. And you can start to kind of, you know, reverse engineer that and find it more and more consistently and more efficiently with the club movements. So give that a try at home, right? Don't, don't let ego get in the way. I don't care if you're 30 years old or if you're 60 years old. Don't they let you have to be Roy McElroy plus. Right. Right. There's not many of him out there in the world. Mm -mm. So be in that middle range, be in the low range, do what you can do so you can do it consistently and do it more efficiently your ball striking is going to improve. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up by clicking that like button. If you have a comment about the video, please share it with us. We, we read every comment. We want to answer and want to make this information as clear as possible. Sometimes we don't do it in the video. We can clear it up in the comments below. Also, if we haven't covered a topic that can help your game, please let us know that as well. We'll make a video just for you. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please do. You'll get a notification every time a new video comes out. Now, if you're a guy or a girl who could use more tour-like impact, compression, all those cool words we see every week on the PGA Tour, cracking those irons off the face, we've put together a free video with our number one drill to give you all of those things in your swing, and you're gonna do it just as soon as you watch that video. All you need to do is go to the first pinned comment below. There's a link in that comment. Click on that link, you'll be taken to a page where you enter your email name, and we're gonna send that video, that free video, straight to your inbox immediately so you can get cracking on those iron shots for more compression, more distance, and more fun out there on the golf course. What's that one like trunk? It's about right in it. Hit right there. Your hips, you lose your hips every time you get the chest right. Wow. Wow. That's hard. Yeah, it's very hard. I get, I get nerve pain down my yeah, leg. Yeah, it's more than a four. But 45, 30 I can do all day, 45 I can't.